Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Formosa Fantasy and on my channel I do hair, makeup and a little bit of box here and there. But today I'm giving you a hair tutorial. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You like? <laughs> well, you can keep on watching, but before you go, wait, hold on a minute. You ain't subscribed yet? What are you waiting on? Subscribe already. Help a sister out by subscribing and like, share, comment. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials, which will be linked in the description box below. Without further ado, keep on watching. This lovely piece is called A Day at the Beach. I personally love this painting. It is a four feet by six feet and it is by the artist Fernand. If you would like to know more about the specs on it, the information will be linked in the description box. So this is a unit that I made a while back. It is body wave and it is around 22 inches long. Yeah, it's washed and everything. So I'm just going in with a hair dryer and a brush to further dry it. Because it's around 95% dry, 90-95% dry. So yeah. Now, using my got to be spray and a hot comb, and I'll be flipping everything back so that I can install the wig. Because you know, sometimes when the wig is in this state um, and you try to apply it, the hairs is in the way, it gets the glue, and it's a whole mess. So, this is why I'm doing this process. Now taking my professional steam styler, it's a it's just a steaming flat iron, and I'll be going uh, through the hair with this. Um, I'm not really getting it straight because I'm gonna curl it in the end. I just wanted it to be not so wavy, so that when I go in with my flat iron, I don't really have any bumps and stuff like that. So I'm not going in track by track. I'm just doing it randomly. So three tracks at a time, two tracks at a time. Like, yeah, it's whatever. I'm just running the flat iron through it. Now taking my rubbing alcohol, this is 70% I think, and I will be going my, over my hairline with this to get rid of any oils, or sweat, or dirt, or makeup, whatever. Now going in with my complexion powder, I'm taking it and I'll be putting it on that stocking cap. I will not, I repeat, mm -hmm. I will not be doing the, um... Can I talk today? The melt. What you call it again? What the hell? I forgot. Ball cat method shit. So now I'm taking the wig and I'm putting it to see if it fits properly before I adhere it. Because you know, once it sticks down, they ain't coming off. Now go on with a light brown pencil and I'll be marking where I would like the hair to to be, to position. This is old school, like the professionals. I don't I doubt the professionals use this method, but I still do. I don't care. No shame in my game, boo-boo. 
The clue for today is ghost band. Yep. So I just pulled the hair back a little bit and I will be applying the ghost band in the area that I marked out. Not going exactly on top of the line, but I'm going very close to it. And I just apply a thin layer, spread it out with that let it dry to clear and then i'm going to position my way my lace on top of the glue and i'm using my trusty old fan don't remember where i got it now taking my wig forward and i'm carefully putting it on the glue trying to position it making sure that everything is going to be placed properly in the correct position air tabs work and then i'm going to take the tail end of the comb and press it down sometimes you have to readjust so i'm just going in again with the pencil marking then taking the glue applying the glue spreading it out waiting till it goes clear and then I place the lace down and I just repeat the process of the entire wig guys I'm not crazy I was on the phone I was talking because normally when I'm doing something I'm either watching a movie or I'm talking to somebody because trust me I gotta be up like in the hours and uh, yeah it get lonely downstairs so i gotta wait till all my kids go to sleep well i only have to right now i have to wait till they go to sleep and then i do my filming because they'll be up in my oh, trust me yeah I'm just taking some small scissors right here and I'm just cutting off that extra lace that there's no hair because it's gone. Yeah. Taking my got to be ultra glue. This is just a clear one. And I'm going to be doing some baby hairs. Now, I'm not a like a professional at baby hairs. It takes me a good minute to do, but I love my sideburns. Like, the sideburns I make sure it's done properly so I start with the sideburns then go from the top do one side and then go to the other side so I just take some hairs out and just make swoops as I say I'm not a professional at doing baby hairs but I just try to finesse it as best as I can it just takes practice I I just satisfied with whatever I do simple
that's what I did. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And after that, I just tie it down. And I'm just taking the hot comb and just going over the top. That's all. So that's what we have. That's what we're working with. I'm satisfied with it. Um, I think there's a thread right there. But, you know. Alright, taking it off to find that damn thread another time. So, I felt like doing some a rubber band hairstyle. So, I'm just parting out the sections right here. And I will be using the hot comb to help me part it. So, everything can lay flat. So, let me explain to you how I'm doing this. I'm parting the middle section out after I part the middle section out and then I use the flat iron to get the sides out of the way I'm gonna take some oil and I'll place it around the section that I took out I'll then take a black elastic band and I'm going to tie it up then i'm going to take another section at the back tie it because it's a frontal and not a full lace week i have to ensure the parting at the back is okay enough and then whatever here that's remaining i use it to cover the tracks yes so this is what it is and then after that i'm just going to take my hot comb and press it back yes hand was tired it was very tiring and i did not film the other two sections but it's just the same thing you repeat like i did to the middle and i stop every minute because my hands were tired because i'm doing it on my head and not on the with black so I'm taking the front row the two end braids and connecting it to the middle and then I'm taking the middle one parting it in two and then connect it to the two back the back sections you just watch and you'll see and make sure to put oil or gel or whatever you choose to use on the ends because it can get a little bit frizzy while you're trying to uh, um, put the elastic bands in I wanted to see if I wanted to put that all together, but I changed my mind. Now that all that's done, now it's time for the curling. I am using my Con Air 2 inch barrel 
to curl my hair and what I did was I parked everything into two sections so left and right and then I take one section and just curl the hair and then I held the curl so that it cools before letting it down See the thing that I used to pin the hair? It is not a hair clip. When you got kids like mine, you find anything to use stuff. I don't know where my clips are, so I had to use a paper clip. So that's what that is. So this is what this that side is looking like and I'm going to do it, the same thing to the other side. So this is a finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you really enjoyed. See you in my next one. Bye beauties.